there, Total Gym Team. It's JD, Master Trainer here. Want to jump right into the cool accessory called the Tri Grip Shaper Bar. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to, to attach this. So, there's a hole at the top of your Total Gym, and you're just going to place that there and take your pin and slide it right in. Now, a little insider information. I, I recommend all the accessories and the ones that go at the top, what I do is I just take a marker and mark that. So when you're putting the, putting the accessory on, you don't have to fool with it and try to eyeball it where that hole is, okay? Now, let's jump right into the pull-up series. Here's how you get into this. You want to open up the glide board, place your chest on the glide board so just your chin is, is uh, hanging off. And then we're going to start with a wide grip pull up. Okay, now as far as intensity level, I always preach that I want you to choose a level where you can tee at right around 10 repetitions. Okay, so it's easy to remember. If you can do 15 repetitions, you need to bump it up a little bit. If you can only do six before you hit fatigue, then you need to lower a little bit. So hitting fatigue at right around 10 repetitions will get you the most benefit of your resistance training workout. Okay, so pretend I hit fatigue there. Let's go to a little bit more of a nail grip. This might be a little different for your shoulders. So it's, and it's also targeting a little bit more of the middle back. And then, I love the feel of this grip. So the underhand grip is also going to target more of the mid back. Now, one of the things I love to do with my clients to strengthen the lower back is teach back extension. So as I go up, I'm going to lift the crown of my head to the top of the toe. So I'm engaging the lower back, keeping that spine nice and healthy. Now notice through the whole time I'm looking straight down. So there's no reason to be looking up. You want to keep your head in a neutral position. All right, now, next is the pull-up grip, the chin-up grip. So this is going to work more. It's still the mid-back, but it's going to work more of your biceps. You're going to feel your biceps. It's almost like you're doing a bicep curl but the back is still being taxed in a good way. Now, um, we're gonna get right into to one of my favorites, which is plyometrics. So you can choose whatever grip you want, and you're gonna pull up with such conviction that your hands actually leave the handles. So it's an explosive move, fast switch must fiber. You can do a little tactile feedback, or if you really want to party, <laughs> you can change grips in midair. So I can go to the narrow grip, I can go to the underhand grip, I can get crazy and maybe do one of each. And that also gets your heart rate up. Okay, next let's move on to having the tri grip shaper bar on the bottom of, of the till gym. All right, now we're gonna target some pushing muscles, sh shoulders and triceps. So, I'm gonna get into this by the glide board is closed, and I'm just gonna make sure again, just like the pull-up series, that my chin is above the glide board so I can keep my spine neutral, so I'm always looking down. Now, the first one is just a shoulder press. Again, I've chosen a level to where I'm gonna fatigue around 10 repetitions. That's the cool thing about the total gym, is you can easily change it as you get stronger, you go up. Now, there's three different grips again. It's gonna target a little bit part of your, more of your, or different parts of your shoulders. But the cool thing is, is I've noticed with a lot of clients, the shoulders get very tight. So one of these grips might feel more comfortable the other and accommodate shoulder tightness. All right, next exercise, so. You can play with those grips. The next is the three for one special. So what I'm going to do is use the top grip. And I'm going to start at a plank. And then I'm going to do one push-up and one pike-up. Oh, 
give myself a little bit more space here. One push up and one pike up. Now that's pretty advanced and pretty challenging. So could you do that on your knees? Of course. You can do a push up here and then an abdominal crunch. Push up, abdominal crunch. Now, back to my favorite, the plyometrics. Explosive moves. Keep your muscles guessing, we'll keep them progressing. So, whee! <laughs> now, when you're doing plyometrics, what you really want to focus on is the deceleration when you come down. So I'm really going to focus on control when I come down. Good. Those are really, really good. Now, one thing I want to show you is, which is very unique to the total gym, is you can do some single arm work. So, you can push up with two arms, come down with one. Or if you're really feeling saucy, you can try to do a one arm press. Oh! So, that's too much of a level for me. And I forgot to tell you, but you can also do that with the pull-up series. You can pull up with two arms, come down with one, or you can set it at a level where you can do a one-arm pull-up. So very unique to the toe gym. So, there you go. I've worked up a sweat. That's a great accessory, so check it out. And until next time, keep being fit.